So today I want to talk about blog readability. I think it's important. Uh, I think there's a lot of AI content being produced right now that just isn't all that readable. And what I mean by that is, uh, for example, here's an article that I recently produced with uh, one of the AI writing tools that I use. And when I drop it in Hemingway, um, and Hemingway is a tool you can use to check readability, you'll notice that it comes out as a grade 14. Now, you know, Hemingway says this is poor. I don't necessarily think it's poor, but what it does clue me in on is that, you know, maybe I can do some things to the content to simplify the, the sentences that are very hard to read and make it easier for the person reading the post to find the data that they need faster. And so as I scroll down through this, you'll see lots of red. And if you look down in the corner here, you know, 69 of 184 sentences are very hard to read. So that's what I really want to try and fix. So let's go ahead and take a look at the finished post after I went through and did all my editing and simplified this. Um, this is the post. The main reasons you're losing YouTube subscribers and how to fix it. Now, you know, part of the work that I did beyond just using Hemingway to help me edit and simplify uh, the content uh, in this blog post is, of course, I ran it through an SEO optimization tool, which helped me determine some of the keywords or key phrases to use throughout. So this is fully SEO optimized, along with uh, being simplified using Hemingway. But if you notice, uh, the paragraphs are smaller, less text dense. Uh, I made a, a real effort to uh, keep paragraphs at two to three sentences because I want people to be able to scroll through and find an answer to their question quickly. Um, and I also shortened the article quite a bit. So the intent is there, the content is there. I'm not missing anything, but Hemingway helped me to also uh, sort of shorten this and condense it as well. And this is pretty much the whole article right here. You can see it's pretty easy to read, pretty easy to find out what you need to get to uh, and understand. And if you haven't visited my website, mikeshuey.com, go out, visit it, sign up for my monthly newsletter while you're there. But this is the finalized article. Now, the thing that I wanted to show you is after I ran the article through Hemingway and basically used it to rewrite it, I went from a grade 14 to a grade 10. So this is what I'm saying is, you know, Hemingway just really helps you to uh, simplify and uh, add clarity to your writing. So that's why I like the tool so much. So let's go back to the original uh, article in Hemingway. Basically what I did is I went through and I found all the sentences that were in red and I simplified them. Sometimes I'd split them in half. Sometimes I would shorten them. Uh, but I did whatever I needed to do to change them from red to uh, either this brown color, which is, you know, hard to read, but not difficult to read. Uh, or um, in the case of some sentences, uh, the, it would just be white text, meaning it's perfectly fine. And that's what's what you're really shooting for. So here's a way to do it. Let me show you this sentence and how I would go about editing this. So instead of worrying about the occasional declines in subscribers, focus on creating valuable content that resonates with your target audience and attracts new authentic subscribers. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I would do to fix this. So 
So I went ahead and I fixed that, and I took that one long sentence and I turned it into three shorter sentences that are easier to read. So now, it's, now it reads, don't worry about the occasional decline in, in subscribers. Focus on creating valuable content that resonates with your target audience. This should attract new authentic, authentic subscribers. So uh, that's what I did and throughout the whole article with any of the areas that were in red. Uh, so it's, it's really simple to do. It is somewhat time consuming. Uh, but in the end, I believe you're going to have a much better quality blog post. I think people are going to enjoy reading that blog post more. I think your engagement metrics are going to be better. And, you know, right now Google says it doesn't um, consider readability as part of, a, part of your page rank scoring. But I don't think it's going to stay that way forever. Um, and, and I think it's going to change because there's just so much bulk produced AI content now. Uh, and a lot of it isn't very readable. A lot of it isn't being edited very well. I'm guilty of it too. So this is a sort of a bitter pill for me to swallow to have to slow down my process and create a better product. But in the end, I think my readers are going to like it a lot more. I think my engagement metrics will go up. I believe if I'm selling a product on that page, I'm going to have more conversions. So I think all of those things are very positive, but it is a little bit more time consuming, especially if you're sort of a solopreneur and you don't have, you know, a whole team uh, behind you that can go in and do this editing for you. But I would highly recommend using Hemingway. Um, I would just use the free version, do the edits yourself. Uh, now, I just haven't found that their AI tool has done a great job uh, rewriting these sentences um, to make to really add more clarity and simplicity. So, for example, if I ask the tool to rewrite this, it was at a postgraduate level and then it rewrote it, it's still at a postgraduate level. So they say this is in a beta format right now, or, you know, this is in beta, it's not um, the full-fledged tool, and I agree, you know, I'm just not seeing the results that I uh, would want to see. My expectation would be that this AI writing assistant would look at this data, look at this sentence, and then simplify it, because Hemingway is all about clear, concise, and and pithy sentences, right? Uh, that's the kind of writer he was. So I would expect that whatever prompting they're doing on the back end to uh, create this AI content, uh, it would be uh, something that would be around simplicity and rewriting and, and that kind of thing. So I'll try getting another suggestion here. So now... This is a lot better. The second suggestion's at a grade seven, so I would use this suggestion. So you may have to just try and uh, try this a few times. the The issue, of course, is you only get so many uh, sentence rewrites for your subscription. Okay, so this is better, grade nine. Now, now it seems to be working better than it was the first few times I tried it. We'll try this one. This one's still at grade 16. So it's um, not great for the first time around. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Yeah, doesn't seem to uh, change to where I would want it to be. Um, so at least at this point, I'm not sure if I would purchase the tool and use the paid version. Uh, you can look into it and decide whether that's something that you want to do. You would pay $10 a month if you bill monthly. It gives you 5,000 AI sentences. So I've used 15 AI sentences. And I don't, what I don't understand is when I ask it to rewrite over and over again, if it's 
if it's counting against this total or if it's only if I accept the sentence. I have a feeling that, that everything that I generate is counting against my total in my trial here. Um, so that's another thing to consider. I'd like to see it do a better job at simplifying things. When I see that, that it, that, you know, 75% of the time I get a simplified sentence structure, then I definitely, um, would consider paying for the tool. But for right now, I'm going to stick with the free version. So I hope you found this helpful. Uh, I just really think that, uh, Hemingway did, uh, really uh, do a good job at giving me a finalized article that I think is far easier to read than what I originally had. So the next time you generate an article with your AI writer, I highly recommend dropping it in the Hemingway editor, get an idea of what grade level the article's at, and then determine whether you want to um, simplify it or not. Uh, it does take a little time, but I really think it's worth it in the end. I think your readers will be uh, much happier with the product that you're producing uh, when you use a tool like this and you start thinking about readability, simplicity, and conciseness. So until next time, take care.